Okay, let's talk about a really cool kind of topography effect that we can do in Camtasia. We can do this in pretty much any version of Camtasia, version 9 and higher. But let's jump over to Camtasia real quick, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's just let this run. What we'll see is that the text is basically vibrating, right? And this is kind of a almost a trending topography technique that a lot of people use. I like topography tricks because they have a, a nice visual impact and especially ones like this that are stupid easy to do. So let's take a look and see what's up with this thing. I'll click on the asset here and basically what I've done if we go to behaviors I've added a pulsating behavior to this text. Okay, so just a text box, added the pulsating behavior to it, and then, of course, as is so often the case with behaviors, the secret sauce is to tweak stuff up. Okay, so in this particular case, let's take a look at what that means on the behaviors here, now that I've added it. I set the in behavior to none. You could, of course, you know, use some kind of behavior coming in but I just wanted a pure vibrating effect. So I turn that off by setting it to none. And on the during, here's kind of what we tweak up. For text, I use text random is what I used. So text and random. A lot of these will work okay. Sometimes with behaviors, it's almost hard to tell the difference. <laughs> between almost any of these. Random seems to give me a little more of a individual letter bouncy kind of deal, so I use that. For the movement, I took the easing off and just set it to smooth. Linear also works pretty well. And then I turn the scale down. For vibration, I don't want, you know, things to scale up and down a lot. So I set it to 102%. I set the loop time, which is where the really quickness of things start to happen, to 0 0.10. Set the offset, which is the amount of time between the, the looping of the scale Okay, so again, it's going to go very quickly at 0 0.01 seconds. And I put the delay all the way down to zero. So I just jacked it all the way down. And of course, loop forever. And it's a pretty cool effect. You've probably seen this kind of a thing in maybe some kinds of topography types of videos. It's pretty interesting. It's kind of fun. And as long as you just modify these parameters, it is stupid easy to do. Okay, now the cool thing, of course, in Camtasia 2020 is that you can click the plus button once you get this all jammed up here. You get your behavior properties all set. You can click the plus button and then you can add it as a preset. And by default, it's going to take the name of the behavior that you added initially but I renamed mine to vibrating or vibrate. And if you say OK, what happens is then on your behaviors tab here, if you go down here, you'll notice that I have a new behavior, a custom behavior called vibrating. So to use this in the future, let's just add us a text box some kind of text on the timeline. Right? Let's go to behaviors. Let's drag this guy down. And boom. No fuss, no muss. Instant, easy, very specific kind of topography effect. And then I like it. So I also click the star and now it also appears in my favorites as a custom behavior. Okay, And then to just kind of wrap up the thought, of course you can also add it to something like images 
and get like a shaking effect uh, and maybe just use it as like a glitch which is what I did here so I have just a little bit of vibrating and then went to still and then do some more vibrating to finish it up okay let's take a look at the properties of this real quick yeah this is like a hundred and one percent if you start to jack up the scale things get wild and crazy in a hurry which is cool if that's the effect you want to go for but this kind of gives you a, a way to get started and and get some stuff going uh, any questions on that uh, is that kind of fun that's kind of a good one I like get 